highway run Walk to the midnight sun Softly you whisper You're so sincere Welcome to Go One Shot TV. I'm Doug Roxburgh, and today we're with the Northern Lights Health Foundation as they're doing a second annual fundraiser to support palliative care here in Wood Buffalo. The prizes, they're absolutely outstanding, and we're going to talk with Sue Chaffee from the board as well as the mother of Jeremy Snook, who passed away tragically when he was 18 years old. So you'll have to stick around for all those interviews right here on Go. You should also stick around to find out how local businesses are dealing with the low price of oil. Back at the Northern Regional Lights Hospital with Sue Chaffee, the Executive Director of the Northern Lights Health Foundation, where it's the second annual something happening today. What is it? So we are so excited today to launch the second annual Jeremy Snook Memorial Raffle. And what is this raffle? Oh my gosh, this year it's amazing. We actually have an amazing prize package. So the first place prize is a 2006 Dodge 2500 Laramie Mega Cab truck uh, with a sled deck and a 2016 Cam Can Am 850 MAX XT ATV. That's a lot, hey? <laughs> That's a lot of words to say just for an ATV, yeah. but it sounds like yeah, a pretty it spectacular it's ATV. Awesome. You have to check it out. It's uh, we have it here on site and it when they pulled in the parking lot this morning, it was such an exciting moment. This is going to be last year we sold it in less than 3 weeks. This year I anticipate people will be coming our way soon. And how can you get tickets for this raffle? You can purchase them online at our website, so northernlightshealthfoundation.ca. You can drop by our office, which is just here in the main, on the main floor in the Northern Lights Regional Health Center. Uh, or you can catch up with Brian and Gail. The, the prize will actually be with them for the time of the duration of the raffle. Uh, and they've had a tremendous support uh, response to date. So if people want tickets, they should get them early. And who do you have to thank to help make this raffle possible? So this year we had Legacy Dodge come back for the second year, so thanks so much to them. And we, we, we got a, a, the truck from them and then all the accessories at a steal of a deal. So, I mean, essentially we wouldn't be able to do the prize or the raffle without their support. We also have support from DTS Power Sports and RV and Marathon Manufacturing for the uh, ATV and the sled deck. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Sue. We really appreciate it. And we hope you come out and maybe get a raffle ticket to help support Power of care right here in Wood Buffalo. We'll speak with Gail a little later on to get the story behind the Jeremy Snook Foundation. How does that sound, Sue? That sounds amazing. I just wanted to add uh, that this year we did add two extra prizes. So we have an early bird prize that'll be drawn on June 1st, uh, and that's $5,000 cash. And the second place prize is $10,000 cash. So our draw will be on September 1st. So great odds and great prize package this year. Well, you just keep giving, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, keep giving with the Northern Lights Health Foundation because that is an important, important charity right here in our region of Wood Buffalo. You're watching Go right here on Shaw. I have a very important guest here on Go today with Gail Snook, the mother of Jeremy Snook and one of the leaders of the Jeremy Snook Foundation. The raffle, of course, is taking place here at the Northern Lights Health Foundation. And Gail, what does this raffle, what does this foundation mean to you and your family? It means a lot to Brian and I. Um, we want Jeremy's legacy to live on. Um, we're doing the raffles in his memory, of course, but we also want to help those families that are going to be using the facility when they have their loved ones to care for, and the family rooms will help them give some somewhat of a home life environment so that the raffles are really, really important to us to raise money for that. Yeah, this is the second annual fundraiser uh, in support of the Jeremy Snook Foundation. Uh, you did the raffle last year. It was a large success. Do you anticipate the same success this year? We know um, the economy right now is, uh, you know, people are struggling. But um, we have no doubt in our mind that we will sell our tickets may take a little longer this year, but uh, we will s sell them for sure. And I know, I know I'm going to ask you a tough question here about Jeremy, but what does his legacy mean to you and, and Brian? 
Um, the legacy, Jeremy's legacy means a lot to us. Jeremy was a very special young man, uh, very unique, and uh, we want everyone to remember his name and the, his legacy to live on. Well, thank you very much, Gail, and it will. We promise you that, and we promise we'll help support palliative care in Wood Buffalo. You, of course, can say one more thing, Gail. <laughs> uh, Brian and I like to thank everyone for all your support last year. We really, really appreciate all the people that purchased tickets last year. Hopefully, um, if you can... Sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, we just want to thank everybody for all your support over the last two and a half years. All right, well, thank you very much, Gail. <laughs> that's okay. Hey, Gail, this is obviously it's an important cause. Yeah. I know it's hard. It's hard. We just want to remind you to help support the Northern Lights Health Foundation with the Jeremy Snook raffle. You can win some great prizes. They're absolutely spectacular, and you're supporting palliative care right here in Wood Buffalo. I'm Doug Roxburgh, and we'll see you. Well, when we see you.